What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next limit. So we got the limit as h approaches 0, 4 plus h to the power of 3 minus 64 all over h. Notice that this one, very similar to the previous video, and so I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. I'm going to go through the same three methods. Notice first that we can't plug in 0 for h because then the denominator would be 0. So we got to do it another way. And if you remember the first method, that we covered in the previous video was just fully expanding that, um, that numerator. The problem is, is that we have this power three here before we had power two, so expanding it wasn't too bad. Now that we have this power of three, basically we got four plus h times four plus h times four plus h. And so foiling now is going to take more work. We've got to foil these two brackets here, which would end up giving us 8 squared plus 8h plus 16. And now we've got to foil these two brackets here. We've got to do this times that, this times that, uh, this times that, this times that, this times that, this times that. And then we get all those expressions, and then we have to simplify all of the like terms. Okay, so it's a bit more of a headache. However, if you were to do it this way, the expression that you'd end up getting is h to the power 3 plus 12h squared plus uh, 48h plus 64. So when you FOIL all of this out, you should end up getting this expression after you simplify all of the like terms. Okay, and then we have this um, this minus 64. So all of that is all of this, and then we got the minus 64, and then that's all over h. So as you can see, expanding, a lot more work. You could also use Pascal's triangle if you're familiar with that, if you've learned that method before, to get that expression. Either way, that's what you should get. Notice that the 64 minus 64 will cancel out. And now notice that all of the terms in the numerator are all in terms of h. We could factor out that h, so we'd have h squared plus 12h plus 48. This is going to be all over h. Notice those h's cancel out. We got rid of that h in the denominator, which is what we want to do. And now we could sub in 0 for h. This goes to 0, this goes to 0. We're just left with 48. And so 48 is the answer to this limit. So uh, again, this is the first method, not my favorite method, especially when you start having higher exponents. I feel like it's going to start getting a lot more messy. Like what if this was to the power of 4 or to the power of 6 or something like that, right? It starts getting pretty crazy if you want to expand. Now, method 2, which is actually my preferred method, takes work as well. No matter which method you do, you're going to have to do a lot of work, especially if you're dealing with uh, higher exponents. But this is my preferred method. So notice that that numerator, that's a difference of cubes. And a difference of cubes in general, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, that's equal to what? a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. That's the formula for a difference of cubes. So if we take this expression, rewrite it here, we have 4 plus h to the power of 3 minus, now this 64, I'm going to write as 4 to the power of 3. Third root of 64 is 4. So the 64 I wrote as 4 to the power of 3. So now notice that this and this, same format. So we could tell that the a value is 4 plus h. Right? a to the power of 3, 4 plus h to the power of 3, and then the b value is 4. And so now to get this side of this difference of cubes, all we have to do is plug in 4 plus h for all the a values, and then we could plug in 4 for all the b values. So if we do that here, we'll have 4 plus h minus 4, and then we'll have a squared, so 4 plus h squared, 
plus a times b, so 4 times 4 plus h. I'm going to put the 4 in front. So this b value, I kind of switch the b and the a value. So it's like ba. a, b, b, a, same thing. And then uh, b squared is 4 squared, which is just 16. So basically this here is equal to all of that. And so if I take that expression on the right side and I rewrite it here, we'll have 4 plus h minus 4 all over, or not all over, rather times 4 plus h squared plus 4 times 4 plus h plus 16. And this is going to be all over h. Now notice what happens. This 4 and minus 4, we can simplify these brackets. So those net out to 0. So we're just left with an h here in the bracket. Right? This bracket simplifies to just an h because the 4s cancel out. And then this second bracket, we can expand it. We can simplify it, but I would actually recommend just leaving it like this because if you start expanding and you start simplifying, you start increasing your chances of making a mistake. And we don't have to expand all this because remember what our goal is. Our goal is to get rid of this h in the denominator so then we could sub in 0 for h. And notice that because this bracket turns into just an h, this bracket and that h cancel out. So now we got rid of that h in the denominator and now we could plug in 0 for h. We don't have to simplify this. So if we do that, we'll have 4 plus 0, which is 4, squared, which is 16. Here we'll have 4 plus 0, so that bracket's going to be 4, times 4, that's 16. And then we have that 16 at the end. That ends up just being 48, which is the exact same answer that we got with the uh, first method. So just remember, if you do this method, you don't have to simplify this bracket. You're just trying to get rid of, um, of that h in the denominator, and you can just do that by simplifying this bracket, which is a lot easier to simplify. Okay, so that was the second method. Again, that method is my preferred method. Um, third method, this one's a little bit more complex. You could do a change of variable on this. So if we let a equal 4 plus h. So notice that we're going to sub in a for that expression in the bracket. But we got to get everything in terms of a. So this h we have to get in terms of a. And the way we do that, if we bring that 4 over, we'll have a minus 4 is equal to h. So now notice we could plug in a minus 4 for this h value. And then we also have to sub in something for this h approaching 0. Notice that as h approaches 0 here, a is going to approach 4. And so now we could take um, this and sub it in for that h approaching 0. And now notice we're going to have a new limit all in terms of a. So we'll have the limit as a approaches 4 of a to the power of 3 minus 64 all over uh, a minus 4. And now this just becomes a regular factoring type of limit. So this limit and this limit are going to give you the exact same answers. They're the same limit. And so a to the power of 3 minus 64, that is a difference of cubes. When you factor that, that'll be a minus 4, and then the other bracket will be a squared plus 4a plus 16, all over a minus 4. Notice that this and this cancel out. And now we could plug in 4 for all the a's. We'd have 16 plus 16 plus 16, which again gives us 48. Right, so three different methods to do it. Answer is 48. My preferred method is number 